Okay, let us get this started. Should be good, I got the chat open. Welcome to the Written Realms Dev Stream number 54. That's the number we're on today. Uh, I think I'm pretty set. Just need to open my iPad so I can see the chat in real time, even if uh, the window is obscured. And then we can get started. Today's gonna be another gameplay episode, so we're gonna play through a world called the City of Doors. Ah, by Mr. Rocket Cat that I've only played. Only a very little bit, very, very little bit. Ah, the seam space start today has been like a friggin' sprint for me. I had to bring my cat to the vet, because she had to get an ultrasound done, then I had to get some running around to take care of getting a suit ready for an event that Mr. Patrick has on Saturday. I'm trying to make sure I look presentable for that. Um, and yeah, I've had like no time to do much of any work today. A little bit of the vet while waiting, but not too much. Um, and in terms of work, I'm working on sort of reworking like mob template, um, the mob template creation flow specifically making them more searchable, fixing some of the filters on the right when you look at mobs, as well as um, making which core faction they're in part of like the initial screen selection. So that when you're creating like a lifeless mob or a Nork mob or whatever another core faction is, um, it's a quicker operation than going and then having to select the associated faction and giving it a weight, especially since weight doesn't matter as far as the core faction is concerned. So this is something that a uh, generic hero has requested and that I think is a, a very good idea, more than warranted. So I'm working on that. It's a little bit tricky, not too tricky, but. Okay, so I'm about coming up here. There we go. Probably I've got no viewers, which is perfect. I would feel more stressed out if I did. Ooh. And if you're someone watching the VOD, uh, I appreciate your viewership. Okay, so the City of Doors, I was doing a little bit of reading about this before the, before the stream started. Uh, the City of Doors, I'm not personally, oddly enough for someone who builds, uh, multi-user dungeon platforms as I do. I've only done D&D &D like once. I'm actually really not uh, very well well versed in, in Dungeons and Dragons at all. Which is strange because I'm, I'm really sort of like the kind of person who very much would be. It's just one of those things where growing up in France, it, it wasn't a thing. Uh, I didn't really know anyone who did anything like this. I, I don't even know if there was such a scene in France when I was growing up, maybe. Uh, and so by the time that I came to the US, I was, you know, in college and, you know, starting D&D, &D, you know, there were just parties to go to and stuff. I had stuff to do. So not really something that I did. But uh, yeah, I'm very much a pretty good prototypical of a good D&D uh, &D sort of uh, kind of person. And so apparently Sigil is a big city, kind of like at the center of... Uh, it's supposed to be at the center of infinite planes, which is supposed to be like paradoxical because if you have an infinite plane, it has no center. So where is Sigil really? No one really knows. Um, and it's uh, protected by someone called this uh, the Lady of Pain. Those are the things that I learned reading the Wikipedia page on Sigil. Um, not a ton more to say about it other than the city is like a Taurus, I guess. It's supposed to be um, one big like circle. And I think there's it's always night or something, basically. Um, yeah, there's no sky, all pervasive, all pervasive light that waxes and wanes to create day and night. Um, so yeah, I will be approaching this as someone who who is not really a D&D person. So if you are not either, you've come to the right place. Okay, I'm gonna start as warrior because usually use gender class. 
I like to test new worlds as a warrior because um, I feel like they're probably the most balanced starting out class, especially at low levels. And this, they're sort of like a nice like marker to compare worlds against one another. Um, I feel like mages and clerics are a little bit more uh, gear dependent and, and all over the place. Um, so I like going as a warrior. His world takes a little while to, to start up because it has a lot of mobs. And this is actually something that um, I'm looking at, not actively, but it's always in the back of my mind. How do I make this, this initial start up a little bit faster? Very nice opening room. I'm at the bottom of a bottomless whirlpool. A lot of these wars are totally new to me. Uh, so I have no idea how much of this someone who's well versed in D&D is like, oh yeah, this does this, this does that. Uh, I have no idea, but it's cool. I think I'm going to try to appreciate being sort of lost in the non-expertise of this uh, walkthrough. Okay, so he's referring to him. I wonder what, what the keeps Yankees look like. Probably can look it up. Oh, I see. Can't have things where there's like pseudo dialogue. It's distracting while I'm reading. Looks like I can only go down. So he's describing this, the fact that it's like a three-dimensional, it's like a torus, right? Three-dimensional circle. Does he have an actual quest? I don't know what Jink is, but maybe... Uh, it's gold, I guess. Thank you. 
Hmm. I wonder if she'll say something different each time. Well, he can't be re-completed, so perhaps not. But so he seems to say that I should be going east to see if the dustmen uh, want to give me some work to make some money, or as he calls it, what does he call it again? Jip? Jink? Jink. That's nice. <laughs> Can I kill that? I don't have a weapon though. So I think I'm gonna wait until I get some kind of a weapon. Should I pickpocket this guy? I can try it, I guess. <laughs> so I can make some money as long as I'm willing to offer the use of my corpse to science, I guess. Uh, yeah, I'll do it. I mean, I really need cash. So, you know, once I'm dead, who gives a shit, really, right? <laughs> Thank you, I appreciate that. Let's check out the cellar. Doing a little bit more reading than your average one, it's extra distracting for me today.
a high level mob. You know what I really need though is I really need a weapon. Is there anywhere in this town where I can find a weapon? It's a blacksmith, oh my god. Such a good design. Okay, so I want a two-handed weapon. That's the priority. If there are any to be had. So some heavy armor. It's interesting this is all good for warriors. It wouldn't be good for non-warrior classes. So I guess I want to do, uh, excuse me, shield and uh, and weapon. Since I can't get a two-hander. Let me see if perhaps there's not someone else who could have a weapon. I'll go back and look at all those guys. I'm just trying to get the lay of the land real quick. Okay, no. I really think this this is the guy. Well, he moves, apparently. So that's a fantastic shield, actually. It's a little bit expensive for me, unfortunately. But I do want that shield. If only there was a cheaper weapon. Oh, I wish I had more money. Well, maybe I'll make some while I'm here. But that shield is dope. That would be a super good shield. So I guess I'm gonna get that. I'm gonna get that thing. This one. Okay. Gotta have a weapon. If I don't have a weapon, things are gonna be very difficult. So can I just? Keep pickpocketing this guy. Oh, it's just the same key, okay. Report to Factal Skull. I feel like it wasn't there. I feel like it must have been someone in here. <laughs> I have no idea what any of that means. It's probably on purpose. Should I kill this mob though? I mean, I should probably kill it. I'll just kill it. I need EXP for sure. course it will take a few tries to get a bash in. Oh, 
it's just K, isn't it? Hmm, it's too hard for me. So he's not he's not such a weak animated corpse. Need more money. Okay, so I have to collect collect corpses apparently. I think I was supposed to look for this guy earlier. <laughs> so what he's talking about here at the beginning of this world when one of the first things you learn about this character is that like he just died so I think that's what he's talking about with how like he's cursed um, and he thinks he's blessed because he gets to you know keep on living or whatever but the fact Dole is trying to tell him that really it's a curse I'm supposed to find. Oh, this was a completion, actually. Yeah, it's that same that same problem of the quest that sets up for a next step, and then it disappears from request log because, in fact, you haven't inquired the next one. Um, God, I really need to think about that. So I am supposed to find out about the sapping sickness and I have to ask them about the sapping. Sap, sapping, okay. Yeah, he doesn't give it to you as a quest. It's, um, it's almost like an inquire action would also be useful. Oh, so I can't really go anywhere else in here. Okay. Let's 
she the one who gave me this one? Yeah. So I'm supposed to find some trenches and then find some corpses there. These guys look scary. Okay. So I'm pretty restricted in my movement here until I find some of these sap people or some corpses to gather. At least I know what I'm looking for now. So I'm looking, this woman wants me to do a bit on the stage play with her, but I need a scarf to play the part of the character that she wants me to play. So I'm gonna see if this tailor has a scarf that I can buy. He does among other things. He also has some nice armor, which is cool. But in this case, oh shit, I already spent the money though. I don't have anything to sell. Oh. Oh. These are all aggressive people. I guess the blood quarter should have tipped me off that it was not a super friendly place, perhaps. Okay, I need to find a way to make money. ASAP. Ah, this is uh, what uh, those corpses that I was supposed to find, I think. Let me see what I get for, because I, I got a corpse for these guys, which I thought they wanted. Shit, I thought that would work. Not this one, this one. I would have thought that this this corpse on me would have uh, completed his quest. But I guess that's not what he was talking about. Yeah, so he's an aggro.
Ugh, I don't have any gold for you though. I don't think I should be talking to you. I have to be in health though, so let me rest in here for a second. Maybe you wanted like multiple cadavers. kill these guys. Mmm, so this has gold value. Alright, cool. So this is how I'm gonna make some gold. It's by killing these guys. I really think that I should give some kind of indicator when I'm, when you look at a mob and it has a quest. Because right now the only way to do it really is to use your mouse um, or to try to inquire. But I think that's something that should be conveyed with a look. I'm going to add a ticket for this. The trail of a mess again. Five wooden planks for him. Okay, okay. The raving looks a bit harder, but I'll try to kill him too. The key with bash is to try to time it so that you hit. Oh, he's it's gonna be too much damage. I need a shield. Yeah, I totally need that for a look because I like to only play by typing. Um, yeah, I'll try to think about that. Let's see what he's got. He also wants five planks, because that's what the other quest wanted too, right? 
Yeah, so they both want to fight planks. Apparently planks are in very high demand in this world. Okay, so the blacksmith is here. Uh, the good news is now I can sell these ships. So now I've got 60 gold, just not enough for it, but if with two more shaves, I'll have enough for it. Let me see if I can complete that question that I've got two cadavers. No. Apparently, as many cadavers as I bring, it doesn't matter. Okay. Oh, there's a really, so these guys are, these guys are my friend. Because they're 10 gold a piece, essentially. Plus, they gave me six gold. Oh, shit. There's a lot of aggro here. Almost died. Just leveled, which is nice. Something is going on though, in terms of stability. The game crashed perhaps. Something happened. Let me restart. Re-enter. Playthrough could turn into a debugging session. It could have really still been shutting down, actually. Okay, that makes me feel better. Yeah. So single player worlds, when you when you exit them, everything kind of freezes and stays exactly as is. And for that to happen, we have to kind of like save your data. Um, so it takes a little bit to save all that data and to destroy that world, essentially. And then when you come back in, we recreate it. So it takes a little bit too. Uh, but the corpse is still there and my loot did go through. Something something happened there. I'm not sure what. Okay, so now I've got 92 gold, which means now I can get that sweet freaking shield. Hell yeah. That is a nice shield. Okay, so that's a good start. That will help me kill stuff for sure. He's still not impressed even with three cadavers. I don't know what he wants, man. So I can counter these guys, which is nice. Kill him now, actually. I just need armor next.
seven gold from him, but uh, no loot. So one thing I really want to do, I've been thinking about this, and it was in fact Rockacad, the author of this role, who first remarked to me that like there's really room to put a, a right hand bar here. Like because there's a whole lot of space here that never gets used. We can wrap the text a little bit more, create slightly like, you know, more lines here, but then like have this whole area where we can display things and I'm always kind of struggling with the fact that this left side vertical space is at a real premium. Already, when there's two, when there's core core skills and flex skills, it kind of takes up like all the vertical space that like a thirteen inch computer has. So I could make this area be collapsible, but even if I did, that would still have to be an action that would have to be taken. So any kind of space horizontal space um, is at a premium so I've been thinking that perhaps on desktop only if your width is big enough we can add a column on the right side here around probably where my head must be on the stream and because I, I, I don't like quest log being here I think it's a very awkward location and then there's other kind of like add a click information that I'd like to be made available, like uh, the who list and your chat history and your tell history and sort of any of the things that you don't need at every moment of playing the game, but there are all things that are useful to you that give you context and that sometimes also uh, show you that you're like not alone. There's other people playing who can maybe answer questions and stuff. So I think that a, a bar here on desktop only would be really good. And I've been thinking a lot about that. Uh, I, I want to implement it ASAP, but I sort of have like two big features that I'm working on right now. One of them is assassins, which I, which I talked about on the last um, podcast. And I'm working on that. The other feature that I'm working on actually, and I haven't written code for that yet, although I have written code in the past um, on that is doors and I've resisted building doors because so far I'd never really run across well initially I didn't really run across many cases that would like warrant them to create a narrative structure but I've started to run into some um, the classic example being you walk into a room there's a lever on the wall and if you pull the lever then the fireplace opens up and now you can go north through the fireplace. You can really only have that if you have like uh, a door so that you can have the room take an action on the door essentially or, or on another item. But like certainly there has to be this concept of a room action where the output is the modification of a door state. Um, it's tricky because if you open a door in one direction, you have to open it in the other one too. But then again, when you often, when people kind of create a door, they sort of create it on one side and then they don't necessarily think about the reverse. So I, there's a lot of delicate things about doors. And last but not least, in terms of PVP, one issue with doors, and this is a, a big thing in Wheel of Time mud, the mud that I play sometimes, uh, is that you can run into spammable door, spammable door issues where you kind of go into a door and then someone just kind of spams the door shut and like they try to kill you that way. And I guess it would be less of an issue for us because we have fewer like, every class has a stun and every class can do stuff to probably like be able to just stun the opponent, open the door and get out. But I don't know, if there were multiple opponents, maybe not. It's a really shitty way to die. And it also, it's a very stupid way to play because you're just smashing the closed door button over and over and over again, which is not, interesting gameplay that's spamming a button so part of me i want to do it right uh but i'm definitely coming up to the point where i need doors to be implemented too in fact i've been trying to build I'm, well, i've been what i'm trying i've been building a, a dungeon making the door open close what's up Yeah, that would prevent that case. Uh, 
one thing that I was thinking about when I was, actually I was walking to the gym this morning and on the way I was thinking about this uh, and I was thinking that you can also like cap how often the command can go through somehow so kind of the same way how like inquires are well a mob's reaction to you entering it through is gated so if you enter exit enter exit enter exit enter the reaction is not going to go off six times we could do something like that where if you if someone takes action on a door only such an action can only take place every five seconds or something like that uh, but i've been building a dungeon and i've been expanding the lutest uh, crypt essentially and I'm sort of like trying to build like a proper dungeon where there's like several steps and it starts like you have to find a key among several mobs and then with the key you open a door. And even there, like with the current mechanisms, like, yeah, you can have a room check that just prevent prevents you from entering the room. Uh, but if you're in a group, then how does that work, right? Does each person need that item and in inventory to go through the door like that doesn't really work you really need the leader to be able to get the key open the door and then as he walks through everyone can like you know enter and leave the other thing that that brings up though anytime you have kind of a state with doors like that where they're open and closed is you have to think about like when do those doors reset when do they if a door is meant to be closed and you open it how often are we going to go back and shut it and lock it and what happens if you're inside that area uh, it's it's the it's the general problem of like you know repops happening while you're in the instance um which i guess in wow they solved that that never happened it would never repop while you were in there but in a lot of muds that that would happen you'd be busy clearing a smob and then the the mods would all respawn the doors would relock um so I don't necessarily have like a perfectly good answer for that. Unless we were to implement instances, which I mean, yeah, that'd be good, but that'd be a, a lot of work on top of everything else. So yeah, those are like the three things that are, I've been really thinking about a lot is assassins, doors, and that how I would want that bar on the right to work. shield I'm so much stronger it is freaking nice these guys seem significantly tougher but maybe given that the razor vines maybe they'll give me planks if I kill them you never know oh there's a plank I need five more of those in Bash and counter are up again. I'll go back and kill the other two. And yeah, for assassins, I've worked out the second round thing. So uh, the offhand combat round, that code is done. What I need to start putting in is this idea of stances, because when you're an assassin, like if you use one stance, it's gonna it's gonna add or remove to what skills you're available to do as your next move. So we have to kind of keep track of which stance you're in and then change which skills are available in the UI based on which stance you're in. Um, so I need to work that out. I thought I was on the really, but I'm not, so. Wait a second. No shit. 
I changed my target. I started on the Willy. And then I got on the Chaos Man. I want to take a screenshot of that. It's, that's a weird bug. I'm not super surprised. Like, I, there's definitely bugs. Um, th so there's two flavors of bugs there. There's UI bugs where the way that it determines uh, who it displays your current target to be is sort of whoever attacked you last. Um, and sometimes it's not who you're actually on. So like, I know there's that issue, but in this case, it wasn't the UI window. It was, well, I guess this was, I entered and then the combat fray formed where he was first and he was second. But then I should have still set my target as the initial guy. So I'm going to create a bug for this. I can never play, just play, you know. Every time I play, I discover so many bugs that it's kind of like, by definition, I can't play because it's it's all work, really. <laughs> like, it's true. Such is the life that I signed up for. It's okay. So I don't know if I looted earlier. Yeah, I forgot one. I am convinced though that like, those are actually two things I need to be doing more of, is I need to be doing more playing and I need to be doing more just flat out world building of the Unbroken World, which is why I've been working on that dungeon. Um, because like yeah I find a ton of bugs but also I can tell in periods where I'm world building a bunch or where I'm playing a bunch like I fix so many bugs because if I keep running into them in my usage it's gonna piss me off to the point where it's gonna create enough energy for me to just go on a rampage and fix everything and sometimes it's about like bringing you up to that point and so I've been trying to do more more playing more building um more being a regular user of it um, rather than sort of always doing the next thing. Easier said than done. Because to hammer everything looks like a nail, so I tend to always want to like code everything up. I'm making good money here though, so this is good. I'll be able to buy some armor and then be properly strong. Also, I can do that quest now. Ooh, that's a lot of people. I can do that quest uh, in that other place. Yeah, here. No, it's not here. Somewhere. Someone wanted me to buy a ticket, uh, a scarf for a performance. Where was that? I don't remember where it is. Where was that? I do wonder what's here. Definitely can't kill this right now. I'm definitely disoriented and don't know where I'm supposed to really be. I thought I came from like the Northeast. Yeah, from all that stuff. 
but maybe not. Level four soon, and I will get my first run of feats. Spike run loot. I wonder if that's just a coincidence. God, I'm so rich now. Well, there was this armor, so I definitely want all of these pieces. This is going to be giant upgrades. Yeah, big upgrades from these three pieces. Especially since, like, there are some games, Wheel of Time Mud included, where, like, if you're only wearing boots and and a chest plate if you could hit if you get a hit on the head or on the hands that will do nothing for you so it's like absorption based on like where you get hit but in our game everything just gets averaged out so even if you have like you totally get partial credit for only having a few pieces um, it just kind of gives you like an overall absorption which is perhaps less realistic but uh a lot easier to balance and a lot easier for new people to kind of like get the hang of and in general, we very much aired on that side, on the side of um, doing stuff that's sort of easy for newcomers to grasp. God, it, I guess he doesn't want cadavers because I've just brought in like four of them. And, I mean, he wanted corpses. I got corpses, but that's not, that's not what he wanted apparently. There's a plank here, though. Yeah, see these, uh, a little bit of armor that I picked up makes like a huge difference. It's still hard, though. I think I'll get him, though. Ah, annoying. Well, as soon as counter is up, I can go back in there. Chain the counter in. Okay. Yay. So it's a big level because I get feats. Uh, so by default it gave me 50% armor as the first tier but basically every level and this is another thing that I want to put on that sidebar is like you know when you level up for the first time or there's new feats available to see like a little notice on that sidebar that says hey there's a new feat you can learn um, and we always auto assign the first one 
I think when you get started, unless you have a sword, there really is the one that kind of makes sense. But yeah, that's a big upgrade. It's a big level up. Uh, and I'm gonna kill the willies now. God, so buggy. I need to fix that because um, that's the kind of stuff that will that can create like reactions of reactions and reactions, and you can blow up the call stack doing that easily. How is it that I can't find? So he was a guy who wanted planks, right? Yeah. Is that repeatable? No. It's a one time thing. I'm gonna stop picking up the the planks because like, why? I mean the the cadaver, sorry, because apparently the quest that I thought wanted them doesn't. Hmm. I, I have a feeling that's a that's a bug in the quest though, and it makes me want to. Take a look. But doing so would be spoilery. Maybe I'll do it offline later. Ooh, a sentry. What's a sentry? Level five. I like that. A challenge. I'm pretty sure I will win. skills though. Since I've got a good mobile builder interface, I might as well use it.
and robe dustman clerk that's him let me look at this quest Oh, yeah, he just wants five of them. Okay. That's what that was. I checked up to four and then assumed it was bugged. But I guess that doesn't give me any faction affiliation. I still haven't found that mysterious other place I was looking for earlier. Which, I mean, I didn't dream it up, right? I guess I could look it up on stream, see where I was, but I'm really, really surprised. There it is. Yay. Awesome. Yeah, and he's got more gear. So this is, I'm very happy I found him. And I've got a bit of gold now, but not as much as, well, I could sell stuff. I could sell the shivs for one. Get 20 more gold. But yeah, I can get that scarf. That's the big thing. So he has only regular armor. Uh, but that's a good thing to keep in mind. I wouldn't wear anything with less armor, but there are some things where I'm not wearing anything else so until until the stuff gets loaded in the other slot. But anyways, so now I can do this. Isn't it what that guy was? There was a guy named by that somewhere up here. Oh, that's for me. That's pretty good. Got some gold, got some experience. Perfect. Ah, maybe someone wants this at some point. It says quest item. We're not yet. So what other quests do we have? Oh yeah, we need the five planks for the gnome. Also, let me see if that merchant has reloaded his inventory of heavy items. Yeah, gauntlets is new. Nice. I 
will take them. The scarf, I don't think I'll need anymore. I can sell it. All right, so I've already got the five planks actually, which is great. Now all I have to do is to find that gnome because I don't remember. I think he's here maybe. The raving mad gnome. Here maybe? No, that's not have to work. Here. No. I don't I just don't remember where he was. There he is. Interesting. Does that mean and a uh, hempen hempen like and then? I don't know. But apparently, it that was not what he wanted. He wanted rope. It's always nice to get new abilities. Where was that uh, boss lady? This is where I started. This is very mazy, uh, which is great. That's a great thing. Ah, these keep loading here. I wonder if I have more usage for the planks, though. Another cadaver, at least.
here. I just want to see what she loads. I guess I can look at her too. She's pretty tough, and I'm only level 5, so I actually may not be able to kill her. Sometimes you can use what I'm doing right now to kill hard mobs, which is you flee, you rest, and theoretically you rest a little bit faster than they do, so if you're patient. Uh, and then especially that way you can use abilities, but you see she's almost back to full. It's not going to happen. She's not actually, it doesn't have anything noteworthy either. These are higher level though, but they don't load the dagger ship, so I don't know if they're actually like worth my time really. Oh, two of them is too much. I just have to sort of remember where this is. It's definitely mazy, but I mean in a, in a very good way. Because I still feel like I can sort of figure it out like where I need to go. Oh, this is an upgrade. Yes, I will buy it. I guess max health is much better than I'm actually curious about one thing. If I leave this game and re-enter, will the merchant's inventory be different? I'm gonna try it.
Yeah, no. It made him, he has the same stuff as before. It made him reload some of his inventory, like this one reloaded quicker. And now I can actually buy it. That was nice. But by and large, no, it didn't really matter. But got a nice um, enchanted helmet though, so that's nice. Low C constitution is what it gives me, which is nice. I get that file from here. I don't even know because that gnome didn't want the planks that I got. I'm not actually sure if I need to keep accumulating them or if it's kind of getting pointless. The cadavers, I still make money from them. But yeah, so. What I want to do. Where is that guy? He's. Just looking for him. There he is. I'm gonna leave all the planks with him because currently he's the only person that I know of who wants them. So that way they will be in that room and it will free up my inventory for the other stuff. So everybody wants it. found who wants those. I forget sometimes that I added tab completion, but it's a damn useful feature.
starting to get pretty tanky. The problem is that I don't do much damage because I don't have a two-hander, um, which is kind of the problem. It's okay. It just means that like even like a level three. I mean, I beat the shit out of him, but it takes me a little while. These are very, very, very high health for level sevens. I'm gonna die, I shouldn't have entered in here. There was a trap. How did I get here? I thought this used to be unavailable to me. Why is it? No. Oh no, it's still in. This is still unavailable, but. You said to go north, right? North from the entrance, entrance hall, not upper sanctum, uh, entrance hall is here, north, north, and then up, yeah, that's in, yeah, but he already quested me. something for me. Where was the guy who I started with and you could give him money? I'm gonna kill this guy. 
tell you rumors or whatever, and I was wondering if it would be the same over and over again or not. Access to the sewers. That must be it. Let's check. Yeah, that's the key for them. My kingdom for a two hander. Rocket Cat, if there is such a thing. And if not, excuse me, if it can be added to the merchant. I think also it was one of those cases where he told you what he wanted as a completion of a previous quest, so you're not seeing that in the quest log. Shit little health, so maybe that's why. Shit, I had a repop. That's not nice. Also, there were some that I didn't get to loot. They actually hit kind, of, hit kind of hard for level 6 mobs, really.
Isn't she the one who gave me the quest? Oh, God damn it. Right, I don't know, because it's a repeat. Five creams is what it wants. Did that give me faction? No, 500 experience is a lot though. I've also not quite explored everywhere in these sewers. Oh, these are one ways. Gross. down if you take the wrong exit here. No, you can't go west. More lag, interesting. Missing the bash timing. Two, though. The main takeaway from all this for me is that I really want him to add two-handers to the merchant. It's like all I want. Um, because even for caster classes, um, two-handers increase their their spell power a bunch, and everyone's going to want that. Everyone's going to be happy with that. No boats that I know of. Yeah, well, I was just gonna say, I wonder if I can kill her now. This chick, whatever her name is, to me. I'll try her again. I've got more 
Health, no. Higher level, more abilities. I might be able to. She's still a little too strong for me. Especially if I start lagging like I am there. Close, but no cigar. Very close though, I think. With a little bit more gear, I'm still missing few slots. The interesting thing with the gear that I'm missing now is I don't know if this merchant is ever going to really refresh itself in single player mode. Um, currently the only way to make him refresh is to buy some of the slots that I don't actually want. So there's like two breastplates and greaves. I don't want any of those but unfortunately they're all taking up slots where other armor that I could want would spawn. Um, those merchants would rotate their inventory if I stayed in the game long enough, I think. It must take like three or four hours, uh, but I'm not going to do that. This is something I need to think about, though, because it is kind of a limiting factor of using random inventory in single player worlds if they only rotate as often as, you know. I don't even know if that happens for single player walls. That might only be a multiplayer world thing. If so, you're kind of like stuck with what there is and then, well, excuse me. One solution to this is to have a lot of merchants, but also not ideal. Maybe in a single player world, um, maybe there would be a way to tell the merchant, hey, cycle your inventory or something. I don't know. But either way, yeah, no no inventory for me here. Okay, I think this has been a good introduction. I'm not gonna kill this thing. I think I'm going to stop there for now at level six. Uh, I will definitely be playing this some more. Um, I'm just tired, I've had kind of like a rough day. Um, and I'm not exactly sure what other quests I'm supposed to be doing right now. So I think I want to take a little break. I'm going to be back Thursday uh, and I'm going to be doing coding again on stream for the first time in a while because with all these Nemobumo playthroughs and this one, it's been a few weeks now since I've done coding live. Um, I don't know yet what I'll be doing, but one of the, probably something related to assassins, doors, or something to that effect. Hopefully I'll be done with mob template, core faction stuff by then. And yeah, feel free to tune in uh, Thursday at three. The following week I'll be, there'll be some interruptions due to um, holiday timing, Thanksgiving stuff, but uh, I will definitely be doing this again on Thursday. So thanks a lot for tuning in, appreciate it.